Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we're going to be continuing on with our VGC Series 8 content, playing another rental team, a very fun one as well from the recent Japanese National Qualifier slash PC4 qualifiers. Uh, this team today has actually been brought to us by another Japanese player called Michael. Uh, goes by the online handle at rep underscore mikuru vgc i'll link all of their socials down below in the description as well as the blog post where he details all about this team so you can see the restricted here is going to be kyoga holding that choice specs item which just absolutely blows away any opponents any contact that it makes for most of the time you've got really nice support options as well with the whimsicott not only with the tailwind but got that trick room as well to kind of play into opposing uh, tailwinds reverse trick room if it's up um, and some nice support and options with tapu lele with that psychic train to prevent any kind of fake out or any uh, like priority support from that end reggie Alecki with the magnet as well so really a hard hitting team extreme speed electro web thunder taking advantage of the rain there with that thunder as well they can combine well with the, the kyogre as well if you lock into that then another option on the team is the charizard it has got the solar power um and you there is no sun on this team which is really interesting but it doesn't necessarily need sun to operate that well no protect either on the charizard so like i say the kind of offensive kind of pressure of this team and the build kind of runs right through and then the cartana as well so the one thing that i would say this won't protect on the whole team so you're going to have to really get your lead spot on and, and really apply pressure and get returns every time a turn passes so you're not gonna if you something gets knocked out on your end you have to really capitalize on that and make sure you're getting some sort of return to keep pace with what your opponents do and hopefully we can do that in today's episode it's going to be an interesting one i'm very excited about featuring this team if you have a goal with it as always do let me know down in the comment section below love hearing about the teams that we feature that you try out and uh, have fun with and have a bit of success with obviously michael did really well in the qualifier as well i think finishing 40th place or something around that that spot i'm not too sure but um i'm pretty sure he got enough points to qualify which is which is a huge thing so massive congratulations to that and without further ado friends hope you enjoyed today's episode let's get into our first match of today first opponent they're playing a team of blaziken grimmsnarl sylvian cartana zapdos and Groudon. Okay, so the Groudon versus the Kyogre going to be an interesting one. You've got to keep an eye out for that Blaziken as well because it's going to have the hidden ability. You've got to imagine speed boost. So any turn that it's left alone, it's going to get that speed boost get even more in front of what we've got on the field kind of negating the uh, the tailwind effect so trick room might be something that we consider although not really the probably the most beneficial here when you've got things like sylvian on my opponent's end as well that can do a lot of damage the big thing i think for us straight away is the zapdos like i want to lead regieleki for sure i think regieleki is a great lead here just to pressure the zapdos get some damage on the board uh initially uh, from that perspective but uh, and I kind of don't want to lead Kyogre. If I'm completely honest, I would prefer to have Kyogre in the back. Maybe something like Regieleki Charizard could be quite good. Because uh, I feel like Charizard's a decent option here. Uh, especially with the speed control support from the Eleki. I'm going to go Kyogre. Um, what's that last Pokemon going to be? Like Cartana could be good. Wimmy could be decent as well. Uh, kind of leaning more towards Cartana if I'm completely honest. Uh, but the speed control, I think, generally is probably going to suit us a little bit better uh, overall. So we'll go with the Wimmy. I think, yeah. Because you've got to think, if we can get Kyogre onto the field and just get a Tailwind up, like a Specs Water Spout is literally obliterating every everything, everything everything even resisted even stuff with water absorb now i'm joking i'm joking i don't want to mislead any new new players coming into this it won't but you you get the gist you know it's going to do a lot of work right we're we're in a good spot i think here we can get rid of the groudon we can get rid of the, the zapdos we're probably better off getting rid of the zapdos here problem is if we go hmm we need to electro web and the problem is Zapdos could protect. But it's like, does my opponent... What does my opponent, like, prioritize? Do they prioritize getting rid of the, the Charizard? And protect Zapdos? Because that would that, that's something that you can definitely see happening here. And I think it makes more sense, actually, to do that. Like, we Electro Web. 
and we blast burn the Groudon because I think the Electro Web play is quite obvious here. So my opponent may go down that line and like a big residual damage stacking up. And I think the damage onto the Groudon, even though we've got the Kyogre in the back, right? We've got the Kyogre in the back. I think it makes more sense to chase down the Groudon here than it does the Zapdos. Because it's likely the Zapdos could protect and we could see a Rock Slide. Potentially. Pot potentially. Um, we might just see Precipice Blades, Thunderbolt. We're not seeing any Protect. So we're going to be able to get rid... Uh, okay, well, the Electro Web misses the Zapdos, which isn't ideal. But we're going to be able to get rid of the Groudon. Let's see what the Zapdos does. We're going to get the residual damage kind of stacking up, which is always good. Discharge. So we're going to see Discharge, Precipice Blades. Ooh. Okay, Disquake combo. Um, not ideal, but not the worst case scenario. Because we could have been paralyzed there. Like, Discharge has a high paralysis chance so kind of avoiding that's nice <laughs> now the blaziken makes its way into the field not ideal um but also not too bad so we'll electro web just to negate any speed boost this turn um is it going to be physical or special it's predominantly going to be more physical right we could go max worm wind to reduce that but again i kind of would like just to remove the zapdos as soon as possible we know the charizard unless it's a speed tie last turn we should add speed the Zapdos and get this damage off. The residual damage isn't going to work against the Blaziken. And we're likely going to lose a Regieleki here. I think you go after Eleki. You may max guard with Blaziken as well. Get that speed boost. Then I still think Eleki probably outspeeds it the next turn. Yeah, they're max... Okay. So as long as our Electro Web hits here, we're going to be alright. Come on, Electro Web. Connect. Connect. There we go. Okay, that's good. Blast burn. Gonna be enough to get this Zapdos. Charizard putting in loads of work. <clears throat> okay. And um, Blaziken gonna get a speed boost. But like I say, like Blaziken what is what? 80 base speed, I think? 80. So plus one, it's not getting, the, yeah, it's not getting, the, it needs Tailwind support to get the jump on Aleki. Sylveon coming out. Okay, don't really care about Sylveon. We just need to get an Electro Web off. And that'll just negate the speed boost. Um, hmm. Do we just go after the Sylveon? It makes it a bit easier not having to deal with Sylveon when the Kyogre comes onto the field. Why is this Reggie Alecki like... The, why is this Reggie Alecki like the worst... It like... Oh my god. Why? 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 Okay, Charizard just hangs on. Just hangs on. Reggie Alecki gets another goal. <laughs> okay, well, this is all right. Charizard's going to go down this next turn. Whimsicott, with the Sash, can get the Trick Room up, which is going to be the counterplay. Because we, we can't... With the Speed Boost, we cannot rely on, on uh, Electro Webs anymore. Or Tailwind. Um, so Trick Room, with the Sash is going to be our way to win this. And then we get Kyogre in and just water spout. So, <clears throat> Charizard doing some insane work here, you know? Um, I mean, it's pointless. It's pointless clicking anything with Regieleki other than extreme speed, you know? I do love the Trick Room mod here on Wimmy. You know, it's not something you ever really see, but I think it's so useful. So useful. Yeah, bye-bye, Aleki. That's perfect. And let's be honest, Blaziken can get as many special defense boosts as it wants. As many. We'll give it plus six. And you, you're you not. You're not taking. You're not taking a Specs Water Spout from Kyogre in the rain. Single target. Someone please do that calc for me. And tell me. <laughs> please. I love Blaziken. I really do. I think it's a great Pokemon. Very versatile. Speed boost a great ability on it. But at the same time. It's very linear and, you know, it's quite easy to manipulate boards against, like, approaching it like this, for instance. You've got to have the right tools, of course. Um, but it's like it's not really got the win condition it needs now. It's 
click that water spout and click that dazzling gleam button. And there's a cancellation, yeah. So we pick up a win to kick us off with today. So good start. So very good start. Good game to my opponent. I uh, hope you enjoyed that first one. And uh, without further ado, friends, we will jump straight over into our next match of today's episode. Okay, next up, we have an Incineroar, Melotic, Indeedy Female, Zacian, Rillaboom, and Dragapult. You know, Charizard looks amazing in this match. Charizard looks great. I think the one thing you have to worry about for Charizard is obviously going to be the Melotic, uh, the Dragapult as well to a certain extent because we can't really damage it amazingly well, but we do have Max Wormwind that can uh, do a number on it, you know? Um, kind of what, what we want to bring as a support option. Um, kind of tempted to go Lele, you know, because if you can get Lele, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll go Charizard. Um, did we go Wimmy or Lele? Wimmy or Lele, Wimmy or Lele. Hmm. I think we go Lele. No, 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 no. Let's go Wimmy, Lele, and then Kyoga. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So Charizard again going to be a big player for us. You could think as well. You could you could maybe consider Regieleki here. And I think you can consider Regieleki in most games, but the Electro Web not really going to be that useful against the Dragapult. Um, nor the Rillaboom. Not really that useful against Incineroar. So, yeah, I, I don't regret what we've brought. I think maybe Cartana could have been a possibility, potentially. So, Let's get into it. Indeedy and Dragapult. Okay. Well, this is actually not too bad because I think we. Hmm. Hmm. They're going to airstream, right? They have to airstream. We could max Wormwind, Tailwind, max Wormwind. Reduce the attack power of the Dragapult. Yeah, it's not, not a bad idea. Just you kind of want to you kind of want to um you kind of want to max airstream this first turn just to keep ahead of the dragapult the next turn you know what i mean and just get damage onto the yeah let's try and get damage onto the dragapult if we can we go for a tailwind we might be locked into going for well the thing is if you kind of want Wimmy to go down here but i don't think it will unless we see the dragapult attack into it with an airstream and then we see an expanding force which would be the best scenario for us because then we get either kyoga in or we get tapu lele onto the field um and it makes it easier to deal with the dragapult especially with the speed control you know okay well gonna see that indeed he just protects so this is why it's always good to go after the pokemon uh beside the follow me or redirect user because sometimes they go for this cheeky protect and it doesn't always pay off the interesting thing here is that the dragapult's not maxing at all you know so you know it makes it difficult for my opponent to max it the next turn i wonder what they're doing what are they going for dragon dance okay well that's not gonna help you uh, they could max this next turn. Mm, that makes a lot of sense. And I think this next turn is where we max Wormwind. And Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam. Max Wormwind, Dazzling Gleam. Or do we Wildfire and Dazzling Gleam? I think Wildfire and Dazzling Gleam makes more sense. Yeah, we got Wildfire into DD this time. And doesn't gleam because the wildfire residual damage plus the doesn't gleam if that dragapult does decide to max i i'd be surprised if it does but i mean you've kind of invested in you've invested into a dragon dance now so it would make sense to try and get some return on it but it's so low health it feels like you're not really going to get too much in yeah i mean they're saving it for later so that's fine and sinner all coming in okay I think the big thing for us probably now is to 
try and 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 keep Whimsicott in a position where we can we can tailwind late game to kind of win because. Okay, well the DD will get an attack off, but it will drop after this turn. As the expand force. We're me taking a lot of damage. Okay, so DD going down. We're making it difficult for my opponent to kind of get a handle or get any sort of momentum in this game. Might be worth switching Wimmy out now to Lele. Go for an air airstream again, I think. Just the thing is they're not gonna go. Hmm. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, we got Airstream, switch Lele in. They're not going to... Um, the problem is they're not going to fake out here because of the Psychic Terrain. So they're likely going to go Flare Blitz or Parting Shot with Incineroar here. Like, Parting Shot's more preferable. There's definitely an argument for us just to keep Wimmy on the field and... Doesn't gleam, but yeah, okay. Well, I mean, we lock that one out so quickly. We just overwhelmed our opponent really with our with our options there. So yeah, very good game to my opponent. This team shown that it's performing extremely well, and we got time for yeah, we got time for one more, friends. Let's do it. Let's do one more and see if we can wrap this one up with the three peak today. Okay, our third and final opponent today playing a team of Groudon, Venusaur, Charizard, Grimmsnarl, Rotomwash, and Incineroar. This looks nasty, nasty, but. We do have some options against it. Uh, it depends what that Grimmsnarl is going to start and what that Grimmsnarl decides to do. You know, if it's got Thunder Wave, it makes it very difficult. Scary Face, also another option that you're seeing commonly used on them. It does make it difficult to utilize. But I think the key thing for us probably to do, like I really love Charizard here. We've just got to be careful around the Rotom, I think. More than anything. Makes me want to bring like Cortana to this match, you know. But I don't know if we've got room to do it. Like Charizard. Charizard, Wimmy. Kyogre. And Cortana. But I feel like Lele, Cortana, has a has a little bit more synergy. Be just because then the Grimmsnarl can't like scary face Cortana or anything like that, you know? And the Regilek is also a nice shout as well. <laughs> Uh, but we need speak. We need to speak control from the Wimmy. I think. I think the Wimmy's better. Could we get away with just Lele though? I wonder if we. Mm, Lele does well against Grimmsnarl. Yeah, I think. And it's a probably. Mm, yeah. 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 Let's go Lele. Because I think the Psychic Terrain is just generally better support. It's a shame that we're not bringing Cortana, but there's definitely an argument for Cortana to come to this one because I think the way it can handle things like Groudon, things like Rotom, Grimmsnarl as well, you know, even even to an extent like uh, Incineroar, especially with the Kyogre support. It's probably a really good pick, but we're not seeing it. Uh, okay, so Grimmsnarl and Rotom. Okay, well, what are we going to see? I mean, we've got Solar Beam we can go for. We can go Blast Burn turn 1, Solar Beam turn 2, or vice versa. I think we got Blast Burn turn 1, start the residual damage. Do we need the Tailwind just yet? Probably not, because I think the Rotom... The Rotom has to go Nasty Plot, right? So we could Dazzling Gleam, get rid of the Grimmsnarl turn 1. Might be useful. Especially if it locks itself into like screen support here. It might be a good way to deal with it. The problem is losing Charizard so early on, I feel, is it gives Venusaur a lot of freedom later on, you know. I'm not scared of losing Whimsicott here, you know. I don't see a play of fake out or anything. And the, the, the Rotom doesn't really threaten Whimsicott. So we've got to take care of Whimsicott for the late game, yeah. Right, we're going to see Light Screen, Nasty Plot. This gives us kind of a free turn almost, just to get damage onto things, which is always useful. I don't know if the Blast Burn is going to be enough to get the Grim Snob, but the, with the residual damage, it might be, and it takes that support option away from... Oof, oof, no way. <laughs> no way. No way is it going to be anywhere near enough. Will-O-Wisp, what? 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 
I don't, I don't, I don't really get that. I don't get that. Um. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I think now we just overgrow and we dazzling gleam again, because we don't need a tailwind just yet. Scary face coming into effect, of course. Uh, Rotom going to be able to hit us first, but it's not knocking us out without um without going for a nasty plot without maxing like even maxed i don't think it gets us so there's the citrus berry huh i'm a little confused i'm not a little i'm very confused i don't get unless my opponent just misclicked you know totally possible as well right grassy terrain up that's gonna help out that venusaur when it hits the field for sure but the Rotom will drop now. And this next turn we can get our Tailwind up. And we got one more turn with the Zard. Is it going to be Groudon Venusaur on the back? I would imagine it's going to be Groudon Venusaur, I think. Um, hmm. That's interesting, that play. I can all, only think that it is uh, a misclick. Yeah, Groudon Venusaur. Well, it's still all right. It's still all right. It's still all right. We just need a tailwind up, and then Kyogre Lele just win. <laughs> I'm not even messing around. Like Kyogre Lele just win. That that is as simple as it gets. Well, wildfire into the Venusaur. We'll tailwind. We might get put to sleep. We might see a tail uh, sword stance from Groudon. There's a bunch of different op options that my opponent can go for here. If they go for the Vine Lash here, I mean. Charizard's going to get its attack off, Venusaur will drop. So you're kind of looking at having to attack with Groudon this turn to kind of get some sort of return. Charizard is so good in Series 8 though. Like Charizard is ridiculously good in Series 8. I kind of am annoyed at myself that I didn't use it in the qualifiers just with how good it is. It's like it probably... It, I'd go as far to say like top three Pokemon in Series 8 by, by a long way, you know? I think it's so good. It's so strong. Groudon, here you go, my boy. We're going to get put to sleep by this Venusaur, I think. But the sleep powder's got a hit. Can miss. Can miss. I think it will miss. May not, though. Ooh, it protects. That is dangaroo. That is dangaroo. Going to see a... Uh, well, we get the Tailwind up. Like I say, this is, this, this you know, with the, the, the chip damage, we're going to get some absolutely disgusting damage onto this Venusaur through this Protect anyway. Yeah, it's going to be in range for, it's going to be in range for, um, is that weakness policy? Weakness policy. <laughs> it's going to be in range after the residual damage. And the, 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 the rock fall doesn't help anyone out here, you know? So, we can bring Kyogre, big, big old whale boy or whale girl onto the field. Or them onto the field. And they can, they can do all the work for us because Groudon is not taking a Specs Water Spout. Venusaur is not taking a Specs Water Spout, not from that that range, and not with the residual damage. So, Specs Water Spout is just disgusting. When you combine it with Charizard and the Wildfire, this team is great. This is one of the you know I, I was skeptical coming into this episode today playing this team with one protect of everything. One protector on the whole team. And you think, wow, we've got to be so clinical. But it just works. It just works so well. This team just overwhelms opponents. It makes it so difficult for them to kind of get any momentum. Because you're just stealing momentum from turn one. Turn one, you're stealing momentum and you're just rolling with it. I'm just going to just check. Our tailwind is up. Tailwind is up. Tailwind is up. And we're going to just go for big old helping hand. Water spout in the rain. Specs boosted, stack up that damage. Nothing surviving. Get in the sea, Groudon. Get in the sea. Ooh, protect, but it feels double protect. Yeah, I mean that's just it's just nuts. There's nothing you can do. Nothing. Sorry, Groudon. Even if you had light screen support up there, it's just not helping. <laughs> this team's nuts. 
Massive props to Michael for this. Okay, well, that's three out of three. It's been a pretty quick one for three games today as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let's hop over now. Remind you all of the rental code and we'll wrap up today's episode. Okay, friends, here is today's rental team. Big shout out again to Michael. All his socials and the blog post about the team will be linked down in the description. Just to remind you, go check it out. Drop him a follow and all that nice Shazam thing, whatever I'm saying. Yeah, all the nice stuff. Um, Yeah, so I hope you have a good time of the team if you try it out i definitely recommend giving it a go it's been one of the most fun teams i've used in series eight and that is that's sitting a lot you know i've used a lot of teams in this series seen a lot of teams and i just love the concept of this it's a really nice put together team it just works it's so good at just pressuring opponents it's it's just overwhelms opponents and you, you can see why it does so well um so have fun with it if you try it out let me know down in the comment section as always if you do and i'm going to just wrap it up there i don't think there's much else to add to this so have a great rest of your day friends take care of yourselves above everything else and i'll see you all for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye